Hi, this is Adip. It is 6th of June, 2022. Uh, right now I'm recording uh, some Twitter accounts. There are hundreds of, maybe thousands of AKP trolls, uh, Turkish dictator Recep Tayyip Erdogan, who is my former comrade, and uh, who is now a full-blown dictator in Turkey, a very corrupt and very oppressive and fascist, and uh, filled Turkish prisons with political dissidents. And he has already right now uh, uh, filed uh, more than 20 lawsuits against me for criticizing him. That's all. And in all of them, he puts next to his name, victim. Anyway, but uh, the patrols are very active and doing great damage. And Twitter is an accomplice. International offices of Twitters, they are either um, bribed or they are threatened, or they are in cahoots. Uh, maybe they work for uh, dictators. May, in other countries, I don't think it would be different. Right now, they are celebrating their victories that how many dissident Twitter accounts they have uh, suspended. And they had suspended my account. Twitter suspended my account based on these people. They are all over Twitter. Twitter allows them to insult us, all sorts of obscenity. They get away with it, all these trolls. Um, doesn't monitor them sufficiently. They threaten us. Many times they threaten my life. And uh, all obscenity, some of them I recorded. And they complain about tweets. And then whoever in the offices, they just follow the complaints. If they receive multiple complaints about any account, there's no mercy. They suspend those accounts. And they are celebrating and they acknowledge, they declare to the world, they have many, many multiple accounts. They keep playing games. And I'm going to show you right now. Okay, let me see. First of all, one of the accounts, this is just one of the many. I wrote this one. I uh, also uh, uh, put these uh, people for informing them. These are uh, some other people. I appreciate their care about freedoms. And uh, by the way, I, I, I am a social democrat. I, was, uh, I voted for Bernie Sanders, but I was also dismayed when Twitter suspended the account of Donald Trump because freedom is very important. I am in the United States because United States has liberty the most important thing. I came here for my freedom, left my country, four year prisons for two of my articles and one of my books and one year torture in Turkey. And then fatwa by the clergyman that I need to be killed because I was a heretic. I had to leave that country for my freedom here. And now when I see Twitter is an accomplice, I don't know whether Twitter had, had uh, quarter, the leaders, they know about this, but their offices is infected with bribed uh, people who work for the authoritarian regime. Here it is, this guy, uh, his account is this. Uh, I will open here later. Uh, first, I show some of his work he's bragging about. Oh, I'm wrong, okay. And um, I said, Twitter needs to monitor, monitor its international offices. Oh, let me make my face a little bit big for no reason here. Ah, handsome guy. Okay. In the background, there are my books. Some of my books done, they're Turkish ones, banned, and some of them. Um, this one. F here for this book for this book, half year in prison. And for two of my articles, uh, three and a half years. Okay, where is it? Uh -huh, this is the news in the beginning of the book. This was 1980s. Anyway, but... Uh, um, I promote Islamic reform, freedoms, and uh, justice, human rights in Turkey. Therefore, they don't like me. 
And here it is, this guy says, he banned, he, you see? He says, we are deceiving you, we are doing tricks and uh, whatever they do, I don't know. But here it is, let me continue here. Arif Kojabik, this guy is one of very successful uh, street uh, interviewer. And uh, he is a very nice guy, humorous, but somehow they were able repeatedly, uh, they complained about his account. He had about 212,000 followers and they banned his account and he's bragging about it. And another one, this one, I don't know about his account, but I know the other guy, this guy is really a great guy. He, you could look because his questions, people pe asking people, it is uh, the, the government, Turkish government, corrupt, fascist, uh, religious, well, radical, uh, which they helped ISIS in Syria, uh, Tayyip Recep, Tayyip Erdogan. Um, yep. And uh, basically he's uh, a dissident. And these are some of the accounts, you see my account uh, among their uh, bragging that they see, Eddie Puxel account is suspended. These are the accounts of dissident, uh, some Kurdish people, some uh, uh, social Democrats, uh, any dissident uh, or seculars, uh, TVs, you see, these are all the accounts they have suspended. They are bragging about it. And Twitter is an accomplice. And let's see, look at this account. I wrote a report, but the reports, okay. Let's see, just this is one of the many accounts. And he has multiple accounts on Twitter. Twitter doesn't close this account. This is a troll. He's breaking, he's out there. He says, I have multiple accounts, I deceive people. And then I go, we go complain, we attack them. He is basically over here telling the world what they are doing, bragging about terrorizing people and suspending their accounts. Here it is. I want to show you what kind of person he is. And Twitter is catering to this. Look, these are the accounts they suspended. See, Twitter is working for these corrupt trolls, governments, all these accounts. They call themselves Ottoman, New Ottoman. What does Ottoman did? What does the uh, Ottoman Empire did? Ottoman Empire attacked countries, Europe, and invaded them, killed people, and rape their women, and even hijack the, how you say, um, hijack, no, not the hijack, uh, I'm sorry, um, kidnap their children and turn, uh, made them soldiers to invade more countries. And these are new Ottomans, fascists of Turkey, they are fascists. Here it is. This guy is doing well. And because of this guy, Twitter suspended my account for 321 days. I will show you about this issue later. And now I uh, filed lawsuit against Twitter. We have a continuing lawsuit in federal court. Uh, I ask $142 uh, million for 142 followers, 1,000 for each follower, for $142 million as a punitive damage. I have very unique, very important two um, argument against Twitter. And I, I and by the way, I am also very thankful to Twitter. I, I, I don't want Twitter to be banned, to be closed, to be uh, penalized. Honestly, it hurts me because I love it. I enjoy it. But at the same time, Twitter's or Twitter, the company is very uh, arrogant. I, um, I offer them this. I said, uh, I, I talked with their lawyers, uh, uh, two different lawyers talked to me so far multiple times. I'm right now uh, 
representing myself, but I am in talk with a couple of law firms to represent me based on contingency. If you are, have law firm, if you are interested, uh, please contact me. Um, but not really, it is not, I am not chasing money. In my life, I never paid attention, pay so much importance to money that majority of people do. I rejected millions of dollars for my dignity. Therefore, it is not the money. It is not money. But I want Twitter to change itself, to change its behavior. Suspending people based on this kind of people, their complaints. Therefore, I offer Twitter to put together advisors, advisors, controllers uh, for each country independent. And I would love to be uh, putting together one advisor team for the United States and Turkey. I want to be in both of them because I know both countries. And uh, my background is uh, I have a solid uh, uh, life cause for freedom, not only my freedom, for freedom of my enemies. I wrote a book, uh, not a journal article, Cannibal Democracies. Uh, find it. It is a, a journal article, legal article. Cannibal Democracies, the Turkish version. Over there, I defend my enemies to be represented in democratic process. Their parties should not be banned by the Turkish Constitutional Court. Because I know that all ideas should be in the marketplace. I discussed while I was law student uh, with Justice Rehnquist. He was the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court for about maybe more than 30 years. I think 33 years he was on the bench. I was the only student in among 140 students who challenged his, uh, some of his, uh, the court's decision regarding freedom of expression. And there was few exceptions like uh, screaming fire in theater. I agree with that. It doesn't, uh, it, it should be regulated. It should not be allowed. But fighting words exception, I found it was problematic. It gives the majority uh, the audacity, the right, uh, self-righteous audacity to be angry. And when they are angry, they fight in words. Therefore, the minority could be censored, could be uh, punished. Anyway, I don't want to continue further. Uh, let's see. This guy is bragging about that he banned this, uh, suspended this account. I don't know about this guy. And uh, here it is. This is uh, Erdogan's troll. And this is a clergyman in Turkey whose whole job is to promote ignorance and misogyny against women. You see, they are keep opening new accounts. They keep closing accounts, new accounts. They attack people and uh, Twitter allows these people to do whatever they do. Yeah, just I recently discovered there are many, many accounts like this. Here it is. Yep. These are fascist accounts. And yep. You see, Twitter, what are you doing? What are you doing? You are working for Erdogan's troll, the dictator's troll. Here it is. And this guy is celebrating this. Look at this. This is just one of many. I have many important people who are, uh, for example, one of them was um, Faizi um, Ishbiler. He was a former MP, member of parliament. He is now in Britain. He was uh, early from AKP, AKP, Erdogan's party. Initially, they were uh, claiming to be democratic, joining European Union. They fooled many people, liberals. 
and later they turned 180 degrees to Islamofascism, not Islam, it has nothing to do with Islam, Sunni fascism, ISIS, like Taliban. He claimed that the religion of Taliban is the same as his religion, imagine. <laughs> what kind of religion is this? And uh, this dictator who is a thief, thief in chief, Tayyip Erdogan, who waved the uh, Hazrat Omar's uh, patched shirt, he was so just, he wouldn't even get enough uh, salary so that he would walk Omar, uh, the second uh, caliph after Muhammad. And uh, he was waving his shirt, patched shirt, poor Omar, that he would bring justice like Omar's justice. And later what he did, he built for himself the biggest mansion palace in the world with 1150 rooms. Just com for comparison purposes, compare it with the White House. Let me stop this one. White House has 132 rooms. Turkey right now, people are hungry, suffering. There's starvation in Turkey. People are making uh, about 4,000 minimum wage. About half of the population work uh, live on minimum wage, about $4,000. No, I'm sorry, I apologize. 4,000. Thousand Turkish lira. Right now, uh, one to, uh, one dollar equals about sixteen Turkish lira. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's see. One dollar is how many Turkish lira? Okay. One USD to TL. Yep, and uh, now let's see uh, another things. Um, mean uh, uh, Turkey asgari ujret minimum wage in Turkey two thousand twenty two. Okay, two thousand two is this is the one that has been increased five thousand. Uh, this is not, this is basically gross, gross uh, minimum wage right now, this monthly. And right now, put it here. Let's see how many dollars. No, no, this is uh, in Turkish, they put dot for the period, just the opposite. Okay, 300 Turkey, uh, USD, one month, this is monthly income. Uh, for you to make it bigger, this is monthly income, Turkish right now. This is what Turkey has been doing. This guy is fooling people. We are the leader of the uh, world. We are a great nation. What happens? Turkish people right now, this is a, in the United States, minimum wage only maybe a few percent, less than 10% of the people, usually young people work on minimum wage. But in Turkey, normal families, they live on minimum wage. They work very hard, long hours. And, um, and uh, recently one of them called me, one young man says, I'm driving trucks daily. He says, without exaggeration, I am driving 17 hours. I am dying, he says. One of my friends committed suicide and they are paying me minimum wage, $300 per month. This is what is Turkish people do. And this guy waving holy book and Omar's patched shirt, he built for himself just one mansion, 1150 rooms, another mansion, 300 rooms, another mansion, I don't know how many rooms. He has seven jets. One of helicopter is called flying mansion, more than $400 million, the value of that. And his wife went to Brussels, to Belgium. She went to one of the fancy stores, got out with a bag, Hermes, Hermes um, bag. And then the journalist that it was in news in Europe because she closed the whole store, the fancy store there. Close it and journalists, everyone outside waiting, police officers, everyone protecting her. This is the so-called first lady. They don't have any joy. They were poor family. 
And then she gets out with Hermes. The price tag was 49,995 euros. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Since it is euros, um, two euro. One, oh, no, not USD, one TL, Turkish Lira. Okay, one Turkish Lira. <laughs> we have to put one here. And um, 400, no, 49,000. 995 euros. This is how many Turkish lira? This many Turkish lira. 888,362 80, Turkish lira. Now, where are we? Oh my gosh, I thought I was at the, I thought I was showing you, okay. I find that euro, uh, one Turkish lira equals uh, 0 0.005 euro. And therefore I checked 49,995 euro. It was the price tag of one single bag that she purchased it. Erdogan's Turkish dictator's wife. Purchased in uh, what? Where? In Belgium, Brussels. Check it. Type internet. Emine Erdogan, Hermes, Hermes. H E R M E S bag and Brussels. These are keywords, and you will see videos. Journalists wonder what is she is going to purchase, and this is what kind of country where people, about half of the population, live on minimum wage, which is today, uh, June six, two thousand twenty-two. It is equivalent of what? Equivalent of $300 per month. Families live on this. They are hungry. Turkish people right now hungry. They just eat bread and macaroni and potato, those kind of things. Therefore, the IQ is going down and down for two reasons. The IQ level since uh, 20 years, since AKP is in reign for about 19 years, the IQ of people every year went down perhaps one point, right now in about 70%. Why? Two reasons. One is uh, nationalism, religion, nationalism, and all stupid religious uh, organizations and orders, they are feasting, they are celebrating. Children are sent to their uh, dorms, to their uh, schools, and over there brain polluted, and turned to, into idiots. And also horrible uh, nutrition. There's no nutrition, malnutrition. They don't get enough protein, enough food, and vegetables, nothing, just bread, 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 mostly bread. And okay, uh, and then I put here in Euro and it is 8,000, no, 800, 888,000 stuff. I copied this and check it how many minimum wage. And therefore, standard paste here. I don't know whether you okay. And divide by three hundred. It was three hundred dollars, correct? Oh, yeah. I should have turned it to. It was five hundred five thousand four Turkish lira. Five thousand. Oh no, hold on. Five thousand. This is Turkish minimum wage. This is equivalent of $300. Since this is in Turkish, okay, equals 177 months. 177 people working one month, the price tag of that purse. She just in one purchase. They're incredible, unbelievable. Okay, this trolls. Okay, that's enough. I'm getting tired right now. It is late. And therefore, I uh, offer uh, Twitter. Uh, we should, uh, Twitter should have for every country independent group of people, made of people whose life uh, is evidence that they care about freedom of expression, not only for their own freedom, 
freedom of others people, therefore freedom fighters. In every country, they should have about 12, let's say, or 19, the better number, 19 members in each advisory. They should randomly check Twitter accounts, get information about which accounts that they suspended, and uh, also maybe give more attention to certain accounts uh, with bigger followers, but also smaller accounts, real, real accounts, not troll accounts. And they should check what is really reason. Is there enough reason? And, and also, I do think Twitter should never uh, permanently uh, delete accounts unless they are paid votes and troll accounts. If they are real people's accounts, there shouldn't be capital punishment, even for crimes, for murder, we are eliminating, reducing capital punishment. Why on Twitter? Suddenly one so-called violation, you violate the rules, draconian, and then suspended forever. But you have invested on, in Twitter for about 10 years, sometimes 20 years, uh, not 20 years, goodness sake, 10 years, they say, now maybe it is more than 10 years. Um, I opened my account, what, what time? Let me see my Twitter account showing you. Oh, where are we, where we are, where we are, where we are? Let's go here. Uh, let's go my Twitter account. Okay, here, here, here. Let me open a new one. Uh-huh. This is my account. And this is uh, the first one I'm telling my story about Twitter, but I'm telling in Turkish. You can translate it if you are very curious. Okay. What time uh, was there? Uh, 2011. Okay, and this is uh, my website. Okay, it was 142 when they banned, and then when it opened, it went down to 130 some. And now since the, what time? My account was in 2020 in April 2nd, and uh, no, in April 6th, and they opened it in April uh, 2nd. One day later, I say April Fool, but it was uh, the date. I have all the date. And then someone calculated it was exactly, exactly 361 days. Yep. Yep. On... Uh... Yeah, this is my lawsuit, it's continuing. And um, anyway, um, since we have so much vested uh, on Twitter, there are many people, I carefully, many of my tweets, I write very carefully, I choose words carefully because I am verbose, I write long, and then I have to reduce it to 240, 280, what was it, 280 characters. I carefully pick and choose most of my tweets carefully and some great ideas there. And therefore, after so much investment, suddenly a troll like that, a pay troll by dictator, by corrupt thieves, and then goes on Twitter and says, this guy is harsh on me. Well, they're attacking me. They are insulting me, threatening my life. My life is uh, multiple times I've received death with was. And then they say, he called me, you are troll or you are sadist, you are this. And uh, because of that, I am banned. And these guys, they continue. And therefore this is wrong. And all these investment over there we make, our agreement is not, our contract is not, like the first day, the first day I have zero. Twitter has all the cards, have all the invest. But day by day, I invest in Twitter. I have vested interest now. I put effort, 
I create content. My content is the capital for Twitter. My presence on Twitter and your presence on Twitter, you bring other people. We are all customers that the value of Twitter is based on us. We are the one that works for Twitter. And Twitter cannot just trash us because someone who is paid by a thief, by a dictator, to silence us because of political reasons, they complain and Twitter without any given reasons, without any due process, suspends you forever. And many times I appealed for 361 days. In the beginning repeatedly, what is the cause? What is the reason? They don't give me one single reason. I don't know who complained. What is the reason? You violated our rules. Now we kill you. Well, I spent more than 10 years. Many people, thousands of people came just because of me. I remember many of people says, I don't have to withdraw come, but since you are there, I'm going to follow. And then suddenly, without due process, one single so-called violation. And later I learned, um, two days after I filed the lawsuit, Twitter opened my account. I didn't know people every day they, that there are some of my former followers, they have been getting checking. And then I received a call, your Twitter account is opened, which I entirely had given up because Twitter has not opened any account, especially verified account after especially one week or one month, especially 360, and there's no example. And they tweet two days. They get electronic notification from Arizona Federal Court, Federal District. And then two days later, they open because they see my complaint, very two important complaint arguments I have. And then 10 days later, a lawyer calls me. She talks to me, what can we do stuff? For half an hour, I talk to, I complain about her. Thank God, finally finally hears me. And then, then I learned from her, what is the reason? The reason is I made a list. Um, uh, what was it? Uh, AKP, troll, troll, the word troll, uh, psychopath, psychopath, and sersemit. Sersemit is a funny way of saying uh, religious bigot following an order. Murid, in Turkish Murid. The definition Murid in religious orders, in Sunni religious orders is this. I'm not saying in their own book. A person, a dead person who's submitting himself, who is being washed by the wash, the dead bodies somehow. <laughs> it is in their religion, Sunni religion, they wash when someone dies, the imam, the clergyman washes the, the body. And then a murid means in religious order, someone who adherent, who follows a sheikh, sheikhul shaitan, that person is, should act like a dead person who is being washed. Means anything goes, <laughs> exactly. All kind of incredible uh, child abuse, all sorts of things in those, because this is the mindset. And therefore I use sersemit, yeah, there was one of the list, uh, list of accounts that I was listing them so that I will know them. And uh, I have them, I, I don't block even people insult me, but I made such a list and people should know about these people. They are insulting with obscenities, threatening, therefore I call them psychopaths. They threaten my life. I have hundreds of threats, real threats, they killed my close friend, mentor in Tucson. They closed one of my friends in Turkey. They wanted to kill me multiple times, five times. Five times, five assassination attempts in my life story. I'm telling uh, this is, should be published in English soon. God willing, I'm looking for a publishing house. When I wrote uh, initially the first uh, few chapters, but 15 years ago in English, the publishing house offered $700,000 advance. And then Hollywood, 
this is the what the literary agent put together a hollywood producer wanted to make movie in 15 minutes i rejected both offer 700,000 advance from publishing house and uh, a hollywood movie i didn't know how much they would offer i didn't even care after 15 minutes i said no because they wanted me to write the rest of the chapters in as a suspense genre of suspense yes i said i have suspense in my life in fact the five chapters i sent to you two of them were suspense but they were into suspense they want to change all my life into suspense focus on the day. no i said my life yes i have suspense more than a normal person need but but my real life the story is transformation of a young person in age 29 philosophical theological spiritual political transformation of a person that is the real story i will not change my story because of your money i said i reject it anyway um what i'm telling you i even forgot the, um anyway i was telling you about uh, my what is this anyway trolls and all these akp trolls uh, they want to record it. Huh? Um, yeah. They, uh, trying to remember, but I cannot remember. Sometimes it's not that important because you cannot remember. You don't know whether even it is important or not uh, that you forgot. Uh, that's it. And uh, I hope that uh, Twitter will change because if they continue this way, and there will be rivals already, they created one rival, maybe they are not as successful. But if this continues further, there will be more attempts, there will be one day more successful, Twitter will go down. Absolutely. You cannot uh, mistreat your people, the people who uh, create content for you, especially it is dynamic. Initially, yes, when I start signing it, I didn't have anything. Everything, you had the bargain, you had the power. But the moment we start to continue, then I have the power too. I have to have to say something. It is dynamic. The contract is not as it is. It's the, the day we start. I didn't know even what I would do the beginning. There was, there was no meeting of the mind. In fact, I think Twitter, you knew that it is addictive, that you will make me work like slave for you and pull these things, and then you can discard me anytime you want. I didn't know that. Later, I found out. And I didn't know that you would just suspend it like that without even an explanation. And anyway, when, she, okay, I was going there. Uh, yeah, there were uh, basically, uh, Three things I said, well, it says, uh, because you wrote uh, psychopath, and that is, well, they were psychopath. I can prove to you, bring those days, how they were attacking me. <laughs> the word psychopath, even a small thing. Anyway, I gave up, I deleted this. I said, if you let me know, if you let me know, I would do that. You don't do your job. You don't uh, eliminate those psychopaths. You give them free reign. Here it is, one of them I showed you, how they are bragging about their multiple accounts, how they are closing, banning, suspending accounts. And then just one thing, because one word in my thing I lose, uh, I, I use in my list. I don't use obscenities, never in my life. Never in my life, I'm a Puritan never threaten a person all my life i never use violence except one slap all in my life one slap i still i feel guilty about that when there was political things when they killed my brother when they were trying to kill me by the way my brother but killed by turkish fascist they ambushed him he was getting them out of the mosque in in the garden in the yard of the mosque they killed it in front of hundreds of his friends in uh, 1979, he was 20 years old. Write down my name, Edip Yüksel, and you will see my brother's name. 
he was a legend. He's still a legend. 20 years old, they killed him. Anyway, therefore, um, Twitter, Twitter, you better change. Elon Musk, if you get this Twitter, you better change. And then I am ready to create uh, teams, at least for the United States and Turkey and other teams. Also, I, of course, we'll consult each other. But you should have teams of independent people who cares about freedom of expression, who are just, who have proven record of being just and caring about freedoms. And then those people should monitor your international offices. Do you get it? You better listen. And by the way, there's a chance I can be, I may become a billionaire. I am right now in zero, but there is possibility. I will not tell you what, but I have something going on, a startup. I have some inventions and uh, I will not become a millionaire. If there's chance, little chance, I can become a billionaire. At that time, I may create alternative Okay, this is a challenge. Uh, <laughs> anyway, take care. Uh, peace, people. Um, uh, I hope the best for you. Uh, we need peace on this world. We need to get rid of nationalism, racism, religious bigotry. We are all children of Adam. We need to live uh, in peace, but we have to also express ourselves as clear as possible without being scared of each other, without being scared from Twitter. By the way, US Constitution, when it was designed, when it is drafted by great minds who really care a lot about liberty and uh, freedoms, they didn't knew that, they didn't know that in the future, not the government, but private corporations will control the public square. Therefore, they protected us from the government's suppression and uh, censorship and oppression through First Amendment, but they didn't include the, the corporations. Right now, public squares in, in the world, in the United States is governed by, controlled by Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. In fact, YouTube is egregious, has done egregious crime against me. They penalized me. Almost they suspended my account. They penalized me because of complaint of the religious clergyman, Jubbeli Ahmed. He's a very evil person. And this guy, in one of his sermons, lies about my father, makes up a story that my father wanted the murder of my young brother to kill me too, so that my father would forgive them. Very clever, diabolic story made up. Oh, his father was so great. My father was a top clergyman in Turkey, a Sunni clergyman, Sadrat Yüksel. If you write my name, Edip Yüksel, you'll find my father, you'll find my brother. My father rejected me because I rejected the religion of Sunni. This book. This is my early books. This is the second volume, interesting question. I started this one in the past. It was like this. This is my early books with Ahmed Didat, in case you are curious. And later I became a normal human being at uh, 20, I'm sorry, 1st of July, 2000, uh, 1st of July, 1986. I was 29 years old after my discussion debate with Dr. Rashad Khalifa, who was in Tucson, Arizona, who was the first one who discovered uh, a code in the Quran, secret code, and then he rejected the Sunni and Shiite religion. He exposed them to be fake, has nothing to do with the teaching of Muhammad and the Quran. And uh, he wrote a very powerful book. One of them is this one. The ugliest cover, but the most powerful book in the future you will hear in the history books. This is the one changed me in one night, 1st of July, 1986. The power 
and lay little qadr of my lay little qadr. Very easy book, very easy to read. It exposes the, I'm going backwards. So awkward. <laughs> Why I'm doing this now? Well, that's okay. Because some of you will be curious about this book. This is one of the most interesting books. Yes, we can stop it by uh, pushing the space. I think you may find it on internet. This is the worst way of showing a book. Uh, what is inside this page? I have compulsive uh, obsession, it seems, right now about this book. Uh, I'm, I skipped one page. It might be very interesting. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. Anyway, that's it. And then, write this book. You see how handsome I was. Yeah, this was me when I was 29 or 30 years old, 29 years old. And then this book, my debate with my father and other clergymen who wrote against me, but they banned my books, the gangs, Islamist gangs, they would go to bookstores, threaten them, collect my books, and then they wouldn't be able to publish. They were scared and stuff. I published this one, my own, and they stole it from printing house, the first printing of this. And later I was able to find another print house in another region of Istanbul, instead of Chalo, another. Uh, and then they didn't know, therefore they couldn't steal it, but I, were not, I was not able to distribute because there were that time three distributors, major distributors of books. They were all scared because I was declared apostate. Anyway, yes, that is the story of Twitter. Therefore, uh, we should have uh, freedom of expression. Thank God. Okay, I invite you to, uh, I have English Twitter, I'm not active there, but God willing, I will be in the future. But uh, right now you can translate, just click on it, translate. The Turkish Twitter, you can translate. My first language was Kurdish. Unfortunately, I forgot most of my Kurdish because there was forced assimilation by the Turkish fascist regime that time too. Fascism did not change in Turkey, governments come and go <laughs> the very nature of it is uniform and again it's the Kurdish language. Once the Turkish uh, constitution even talks about banned Kurdish language uh, Turkey, uh, and banned language is the only banned prohibited language with the Kurdish language. Unbelievable. They prohibit the Kurdish language and songs and even uh, uh, holiday. Uh, anyway, and then Kurdish, and then Turkish, and then Arabic, Persian, and English. English chronologically is my fifth language, therefore uh, don't make mockery fun of my accent. Imagine that English is your fifth language, let's see how you talk. Or learn another language, multiple languages, and let's see the fifth language, how you talk. Okay, thank you, peace, leaving. <laughs>